Okay guys, so we're back here in Blender and we have everything all ready to wear and uh, to export. So we're going to hold down shift and we're going to select the layers with our shirt and our t-shirt, our shirt, our shirt and our pants and we're going to click on them both. So I like to export them both out because it kind of saves a little bit of money if they export them both at the same time rather than doing one by one. <laughs> um, so you're going to click on the pants, hold down shift, click on the shirt and then you're going to go file, export, Collada Avastar Day and then you're going to name it uh, Yoga Clothes or whatever you want to. I'm naming it Yoga Clothes and it'll be Yoga Clothes dot DA Day and that's it for exporting it. So when we go to our uh, what's this called? Back in Second Life you can import it by going to Build, Upload Mesh Model and uh, Let's see, this is not it. This is a file I borrowed from somebody. There, and we're gonna find our project folder, which is new folder, and I have the best file names that I booty butt dummy <laughs> yoga clothes. And I like to turn the lowest and low to zero because nobody uses lower and lowest so you, there's no point in making it so when you see we have a problem here when we come to upload it uh, the include skin weight which is what the weights and stuff are is missing this is because of that um, what body is that the star bright body causes this error so in order to fix that we gotta go back into blender and click on our t-shirt because I think that's the one that has it. I'm going to click on our t-shirt and we're going to go to our vertex group which is this downward pointed triangle and you're going to scroll down until you see the downward point in black triangle and you're going to check the box that says remove unused vertex groups and you're going to do the same thing for the pants just to be sure but I'm pretty sure we did that already. So once we have that stuff done you can try exporting it again. So let's go and select everything and then go export Avastar. I'm going to name it Yoga Clothes 2 the vengeance and then we're going to go build upload mesh model and if you'll close one now you see we have to include skin weight um, so we're going to turn this back down to zero because we don't need it and then upload fees and you see so now we take off our clothes and we put on the ones we built. You see we have some fancy kimono clothes. Now we can add in our texture. Um, I'm just going to do it the fast way. So you can test it out in case you like, don't want to upload it just yet. Just select the shirt and texture. And then we're going to do local. Then we do add. And we're going to choose a shirt texture, which I had to fix because I realized that I spelt my own channel name wrong. So <laughs> I had to change it. So you see we have our shirt. Now it's really kind of glitchy here, but I guess that's because I built this on a fit mesh, uh, tor uh, what's that? a fit mesh skeleton, but it all falls within the range of the alpha. So we can just do that and then go into the advanced. And uh, I may have to fix it on the arms then. But yeah, for the most part, that's it. Now, I bet you're wondering, okay, Zero, that's all fine and dandy for this skeleton. But what if we want to make clothes for other body parts that's inside of their um, tutorial? So I'm going to see if I have any demos or so of anything else. Uh, yes, I do. Alright, let's see. We have the boobers. Let's put the large ones on. My god. I feel like that was a young Frankenstein. What knockers. I never actually put them on before. <laughs> um, maybe we can start with some medium boobers or something. Alright, so let's uh, tailor the shirt so that it can fit these um, additions. Shut up! <laughs> okay, okay. So let's go back into Blender real quick. 
And we're gonna go into the first layer. And we're gonna go over to our line of dev kits and we're gonna look for boobers. And I think I have, uh, was it, uh, I'm wearing type 1 medium boobers. So I'm on T1Ms and I'm gonna turn that on. And I'm gonna select the shirt again. And I'm gonna press tab and go on to edit mode. And I'm gonna select the, what was this, vertex select? Yes. And then I'm going to enable this one right here, the proportional editing tool. This is my baby. And I'm going to hit enable. And I'm going to press A and D. Oops, I pressed the wireframe. Big fingers. Alright, so I'm going to press A and D select. And I'm just going to click where the boobs are. I'm going to click on this side. Hold down shift. Click on that one. And then I'm going to click right here in the middle. So it should be like breast, breast, middle. And then I'm going to press G and change the field of influence to be like right around them. And I'm going to use the arrow and I'm just going to pull it out like so. Great. Close this. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And we're just going to play with the proportional editing tool. Now that may look a little extreme, and, and yeah, it is. But if you don't like the way the proportional editing tool works, you can also go into scope mode for this, and then use the grab tool, turn the radius up, and radius really up, and we can try pulling it out that way. But I like proportional editor. We can actually use both, so let's just grab it and pull it out. Boob, middle, boob, pull, around to the triple breasted whore from erotic. Con what is it, babe? I think you can get love Yes, where is she from? Uh, <laughs> uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Well, I know it's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, I mean, uh, like, what plan is she from? What? Erotic 6. Thought it was Erotic 6. Yes. <laughs> the way I pulled it out just now made it look like she has three boobs right here. And we don't want three boobs. So we're going to go into <laughs> scope mode. He's smooth real quick and smooth out that extra boob. Pull this here. And he's just going to pretty much sculpt it until it looks like something decent around here. Puff it out a little bit. Puff, puff. I'm not really sure how big boobs work. Um, well, <laughs> um, I do in real life, but not so much when it comes to 3D modeling. I'm not sure what the ideal thing is because I'm, a, huh? Um, yeah. All I know is that you got to make it big enough that it fits over it, but you have to also use the sculpt the thing, the sculpt tool to make it look a little bit not like a a Barbie. This is why I always have a huge problem with working with really big breast mods. So like working with the fuzz butt boobs on the snaggle. It's like I want to make clothes for them because I can see it but it's always difficult to get something uh, that doesn't look so ridiculous. And then you gotta realize that all of these gigantic boot mods are ridiculous, so it's kind of working against each other. <laughs> so, against it, so. Uh, not that I got anything against fuzz butts in them. I love fuzz butts. I mean, the, the company, not fuzzy butts. Uh, you know. <sighs> Forget it. I'm just gonna stop talking and keep modding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so ta da! Shirt for the big boobs, I guess. <laughs> um, you wanna make sure that it's even. And when you do so, and you get the size that you like or something in that area, I should have just picked the small boobs. I, you know, I now understand why the creator says she's not supporting uh, stuff for this 
mod because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, all right. All right, so I guess that's good enough. All right, now we can try exporting again. Uh, two. So yeah, you see, it works, it fits, but we may have to use, um, dang, what's this thing called, alpha map that's on this, and I don't even think they have an alpha for it, huh, who's a cutie, oh, thank you, I don't know if they have a HUD in here for this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I resize clothes and stuff for it. And that pretty much sums up how to do it. Um, if you find that it's, actually, let me test something else out while I'm here. Woman, or is it female? Okay, yeah, the reason why it's like this because this is a fit mesh shirt. And it's got fit mesh boobies, and this thing ain't a fit. These boobs are not fit mesh, which kind of sucks. But at least now, when you make clothes for this, you're technically making fit mesh jiggly stuff. So once you turn the the alpha on, I guess you should be fine. Or you can just keep editing it. I don't know. Oh well, I'm sorry. I've gone on for way too long. It's time to end this and uh, take these off <laughs> there so and uh, where's my alpha map hmm that is weird that shouldn't be what torso am I I always have a problem when it comes to the dang kimono. That doesn't quite fit. I and mean, I don't know why. I feel like I got something else on. Oh, the HUD just wasn't working. That's why. Alright, there we go. That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> Alright, so there we have it. That's how you resize your clothes and stuff for the kimono. Uh, you see we have a little bit of problem here in the arms that the alpha ain't working with. So... You may want to um, go back in Blender and maybe puff out the sleeves a bit. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said that it fits beautifully in Blender, but it's not working so hot in World. It's just the model. It's not you. So you can just make the sleeve a little bit bigger here, and then we will import it back in and then see if it worked. But I'm already running way long on this than I should have, and uh, that's it for this tutorial. So did it help? Are you making new clothes and stuff for the kimono? I hope so. If you don't see your dev kit or the dev kit for the mod that you like to use inside this mega kit, it's your own fault. I kept asking inside the kimono support group did anybody have dev kits or which ones to look for and this is the answer everybody gave me so I grabbed as many as I got responses to because um, I don't really use the kimono body so I don't know which is it but I grabbed what everybody said was popular and what they use so if you're missing it uh, I guess it's your fault <laughs> or you know whatever uh, if you want I could try adding it to the group so we can put it back in sometime later but for right now this is gonna have to do um, so yeah that's it for another ginkgo tutorial my name is zero and I look forward to teaching you something else eh, maybe a little bit later <laughs>
<laughs> All right. See you guys. Have fun. <laughs>